Welcome back to the Keaton Knife Shop. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bauer Bandsaw and the Swag version 3.0 Bandsaw Stand. We'll be talking not only about the general application of this package, but also their performance in a knife making shop. Hopefully this review today will help you decide whether or not the Bauer Bandsaw and or the Swag Stand are worth it for your garage shop. First, let's start off with what you get in each package. With the Bauer 10 amp Bandsaw, you'll get the Bandsaw itself, one blade, and a carrying case for easy transport. The Portaban has a 5 inch deep cutting capacity from the inside of the saw to the back of the blade. It also weighs about 16 pounds. With the swag stand you'll get the table and two legs which will need to be assembled. You'll also get an attachment plate that will connect your bandsaw to the swag stand. As you can see here the attachment of the plate to the Portaban is fairly simple and only utilizes two 3 millimeter allen head screws. After you have the swag plate attached to your portaban, connecting it to the swag stand is simple. You'll get a red knobbed screw with a washer to connect the portaban to the swag stand. This makes it easy to take on and off of the stand so that you can change out blades or use the saw in its mobile configuration. It's worth noting that you can purchase the stand either coated or uncoated. Mine was uncoated. The first thing I did was put a coat of spray paint on it and it's held up fairly well. Changing the blade on the Bauer Portaban is also a fairly simple operation. Simply depress the tension arm and the blade will come out of the saw fairly easily. Getting a new blade back into the saw can take a little finagling but overall isn't too bad. You can also purchase a foot pedal for this bandsaw which could add to its versatility. However, I personally use an alligator clip to hold the power button down while using it in its upright configuration. 95% of the experience I've had with this bandsaw has been while it's mounted to the swag stand. I've used it a few times in its mobile configuration to cut 2x2 two by, two by a quarter of an inch angle and it's done an excellent job doing so. One nice benefit of the swag stand, like I previously mentioned, is that it's easy to remove the saw from the stand and take advantage of its portability. I'm now going to show some demonstrations of this portaband cutting various items. What you see here is it cutting 3 eighths of an inch mild steel. This is it sped up, cutting two by two by quarter of an inch mild steel. Here's 1084 high carbon steel annealed. This is some micarta. And this is some kydex for a sheath. I've also used this bench on wood. For all these materials, I'm using an 18 tooth per inch blade. I've heard that a 14 TPI blade also works fairly well on various materials. I hope that you've been able to see that this portaband can really get some work done. For my application as a knife maker, it's done an excellent job. In its swag stand configuration, I feel it's an extremely handy tool for any knife maker shop. Also, I can see it being an extremely handy tool for any hobbyist shop who works with metal regularly. For a stock removal knife maker, the alternative to this bandsaw is to use a cutoff wheel on an angle grinder for cutting out blade blanks or drilling holes around the profile of the blade and then using a hacksaw to connect the holes. I've cut out blanks all of these ways and I greatly prefer this port of band saw. In addition, as a knife maker you'll find this setup very handy throughout the build process. I've used a bandsaw to cut pin stock, cut off the end of Corby fasteners and loveless bolts after glue up, cut and profile handle scales both wood and micarta, and rough profile kydex sheaths. You'll be surprised with the plethora of tasks that you'll find for this bandsaw after you have one. So to wrap this up, my opinion is that if you can afford one, get one. You'll thank yourself down the road. I have Amazon links for both of these items in the description below. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more content like this in the future, make sure to smash the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on the flip side.